so there are two aspects to answer question one is the direction of the emf and the second one is we know that induced emf in case of motional emf is blv so what this l literally means so we need to answer these two questions usually we have seen in the textbooks that suppose uh, you have a frame like this and the frame is a part of a rectangle and the magnetic field lines are into the plane of this so the plane is basically your mobile phone's three sides so it is like there is a wire traveling along the edges of a mobile phone and one end it is open so instead what you are doing is you are just having a rod on this and you are trying to drag this rod along this direction in this direction if this is the direction of the velocity and the magnetic field is into the screen then what is the direction of the emf induced that particular part you have to answer first so one thing about this is whenever such thing happens you know that an emf is induced across the rod that means this rod can be replaced by a battery so in order to be able to replace that with a battery you need to understand what is the direction of the emf see this is the velocity magnetic field is into the screen so now you take your palm as i said this is the three sides of your mobile phone when you try to close the mobile phone cover your mobile phone using your right hand how it will be your forefinger will be on this and the small finger will be on this and the thumb is like above pointing upwards so suppose this is your laptop screen when you try to cover your laptop screen using your right hand then this is the direction along which you spread your fingers fingers are pointing to the right and the magnetic field is into the laptop screen and when you cover your laptop screen using a right hand your thumb is pointing upwards so now when you try to move from when you curl your fingers into it v and the magnetic field is inside the screen when you curl your fingers from v to b inside what happens your thumb is pointing upwards so that means we know that according to magnetic lorentz force force on a charge moving charge will be equal to q into v cross b so the force f is perpendicular to both v and b now v is to the right and b is inside the paper or inside the screen v cross b is upwards that means if here on this conductor you have lots of positive charges let us assume that positive charges are there and when there are positive charges when you drag the rod to the right what happens these positive charges are moving to the right that gives the direction of the velocity and the magnetic field is inside the paper then the force is upwards that means all the positive charges will experience force upwards so they tend to get collected upwards so thereby building up a higher potential here upwards and because all the positive charges are here so there is a less number of negative charges up here then this naturally form a lower potential so the same thing helps us to understand everything now this positive charges will flow from here to here suppose if there is a resistor here the positive charges will flow from here to here it will run along this direction and come here again because this rod is moving to the right then there is a upward push because of the induced emf so that will push all the positive charges up here and so on so that is how you replace this rod with this let us try to change the direction it's very simple to understand that let us try to change the direction now if the rod is coming down then obviously the force on the positive charge will be towards the right hand direction in this direction hence here all the positive charges will collect and there will be lesser and lesser number of positive charges here refers to lower potential so the same thing up here i am trying to rotate this the same way i have done that so whenever whenever a rod is now whenever you rotate this this way the magnetic field is into the screen still right here the magnetic field is into the screen when the rod comes down this is the 
direction of the force and hence this is the higher potential and let me write this is the higher potential and this is the lower potential so here in our problem they have given that this is like this there is a semicircular frame is falling down and the magnetic field lines are into it this is very similar to this setup so when this falls down here higher potential will be created here lower potential will be created so the equation of this emf induced equal to b l v b is the magnetic field v is the velocity and l is the length because when it falls down the effective length that is cutting all the lines of force the magnetic lines of force whatever be the length of that the effective length that is cutting all that is only this suppose if this is 2 pi r i mean this is part of a circle then its radius will be r then this is also r then the total length will be 2r that is why this l is replaced by 2r the total emf the induced emf is b v into 2r or 2r bv so whatever you can say that.